What's going on everybody, Ronnie DiMaggio here, product specialist at BMW of Morristown. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about what's under the hood of this 2023 Alpina XB7. If you want a video on the XB7, we already did that link to it right here in the info card in the top right of your play screen. Uh, but in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the S68, which is BMW's all new 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 engine. It has begun to proliferate across the BMW model lineup. It is in cars like the X7, 760, upcoming models as well. We'll talk about all that stuff. We'll talk about some of the technical details of the S68, the engine configuration, the architecture of the engine, some of the neat features that it uses and implements in order to achieve better efficiency and power output. So we'll talk all about the S68 in this video. Let's get started by popping the hood. All right, so before we get into the technical specs and the engine features, let's quickly talk about what models you're currently gonna find the S68 in, as well as what models it is planned to be used in in the future. So if you walk into a BMW showroom at present, you are liable to see the S68 in three different models. That would be the XB7, which we have right here, the X7M60, as well as the 760i sedan. Those are the only three models in the current BMW lineup that are using the S68. However, it is of course planned to go into many different models in the future. Those models at uh, the present time include the recently released X5 and X6M. Those cars were just revealed. The LCI versions of those will use the S68. You'll also find it in the LCI version of the X5 and X6 M60. So the M performance version of the X5 and X6 will also use the S68 and it will also be found in the XM plug-in hybrid, which has been revealed and talked about. So those are all the cars that are revealed and released that we know will be using the S68. However, there is speculation that we'll find it in the next generation M5. I say speculation because it isn't technically confirmed. However, it is all but confirmed that the S68 will find its way into the M5, whether in mild hybrid or plug-in hybrid form. That is all but guaranteed. Um, just hasn't yet officially been confirmed by BMW. So those are the models that the S68 is currently found in, as well as the models that you're going to find it in in the future. Now let's go ahead, dive in with some technical details and engine features. All right, so those are the different vehicles that you'll find the S68 in both currently as well as in the future. Let's talk a little bit about some of the basic layout features and some decisions that BMW has made as far as features to implement in the S68. So to start, it is a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged 90 degree V8 with a bore of 89 millimeters and a stroke of 88.3 millimeters. It uses a hot V layout, so that means the turbochargers are sat in the bank of the V to increase response time and decrease turbo lag. It also has some external oil cooling, which is of course used to increase you know, the engine's ability to keep oil cool. We all know that heat is kind of traditionally the enemy of internal combustion engines. You always wanna keep oil, air, coolant, you wanna keep that stuff nice and cool. Uh, external oil cooling helps to do that. And it also has a cross bank exhaust manifold. We'll throw a picture up of what a cross bank exhaust manifold looks like right here. Uh, this picture will probably explain it uh, better than I'll be able to with words, but very basically a cross bank exhaust manifold is able to scavenge exhaust gases from both exhaust banks with one manifold. So the V8 engine's firing order is not necessarily conducive to um, smooth exhaust flow to a set of twin turbochargers. So the crossbank exhaust manifold is designed to um, smooth that stuff out, make that work a little bit better, um, and therefore increase you know, response time, smoothness, and you know, keep those turbos on boil at all times. So those are some basic features. You are certainly uh, probably recognizing that a lot of those things um, are very, very similar to the S63. However, the S68 is a nut and bolt different engine than the S63. Everything about it is different. Some of those basic layout features and you know decisions as far as architecture are the same. However, it is not just a revised version of the S63. It is a totally new engine. And we are gonna talk into some of the improvements that were made to the S68 over the S63 right now. All right, so I just mentioned the basic layout and some of the key features of the S68, and you might be thinking, the S63 has all those things as well. It's also a 4.4 liter, 90 degree, twin turbo V8 
with a cross bank exhaust manifold and a hot V layout and external oil cooling. Uh, you are correct in thinking that. That's the right assumption to make. That's the one I made when I first heard about the S68. However, I heard this from BMW firsthand. I spoke with some people that worked on the S68 um, at an event not too long ago. And if you go on the press releases and read up about the S68 a bit, it is advertised as and described as a new V8, a nut and bolt, brand new, all new V8, which shares basically nothing with the S63 that came before it. And that's true. So. Don't let those similarities fool you into thinking that this is just an S63 that's kind of been dressed up and revised a little bit. It's not, it is an entirely new V8 engine. And we'll get into some of the key features that make the S68 an improvement over the S63 right now. So one of those things is a reinforced crankshaft. So the S68 uses a stronger crankshaft, which is of course a good thing as far as being a robust engine, being a little bit more reliable and durable both in stock form and more, um, you know, importantly, perhaps in aftermarket form, a stronger uh, reinforced crankshaft will, of course, be able to handle a little bit more power. Uh, it also has a new electronic Vanos system. So Vanos is a German acronym that effectively means BMW's version of variable valve timing or variable camshaft timing. Traditionally, Vanos is hydraulic. It is run on uh, hydraulics rather than being electric, but with the S68, Vanos is now fully electronic, um, which we can only imagine will help control the valve timing even more precisely than we used to be able to with a hydraulic Vanos system. So that is really cool to see. Another feature of the S68 that is unique and differentiates it from the engines that came before it is that it interestingly uses a blow-off valve now rather than BMWs of old that used diverter valves. Similar concept, but uh, different. Uh, the S68 now uses a blow-off valve and you'll notice that if you ever drive one, it makes some pretty cool turbo noises uh, when you get off the throttle. So that's pretty cool. And finally, the other kind of headline change that BMW talks about with the S68 is that it has a newly designed oil pump for better efficiency and better oil flow throughout the engine and a redesigned oil sump, a, AKA oil pan. Um, so the oil pan is supposed to be designed with a intention of saving weight in mind. So it's lighter, which is really good. And that's um, always gonna help as far as cars that are built around performance. You know, every little pound you can save helps. It is also designed with more baffles in it. So it can sustain high G cornering better. And the oil pump is designed, like I said, to flow better. And oil flow is always something that you want to prioritize in an engine. You want to have oil flowing at strong pressures and in a way that's able to be sustained throughout performance driving. So, so another big headline feature with the S68 is the introduction of electrification to the BMW V8 model lineup. So all variants of the S68 will be electrified in one form or another. In cars like the XB7, the X7 M60, the upcoming X5 and X6 M competition, those cars will be mild hybrids. So they have a 48 volt mild hybrid system uh, that has an electric motor integrated into the actual housing of the eight-speed ZF automatic transmission. And what that does is assist in hot starts. So when the engine's already warmed up, it starts up much more smoothly using the electric motor. It also helps with the auto start stop integration. That's a little bit smoother and less, you know, obtrusive to occupants of the car. They won't feel that auto start stop nearly as much. It also, of course, helps to fill in some gaps in the power band of the engine, make it feel a little bit more responsive and things like that. That said, all plug-in or uh, mild hybrid versions of the S68 still have a 12 volt battery and a traditional starter motor, which will handle cold starts. The other version of the S68, which is currently only available in the XM, uh, as far as current cars that are, you know, either released or currently in showrooms, is a plug-in hybrid. So some versions of the S68, like the XM, have plug-in hybrid. We're sort of speculating that that might find its way into the next generation M5. Not really quite sure about that yet, because that car hasn't been released yet, but that's very important to talk about with the S68. Better fuel efficiency, smoother startups, and better responsiveness due to electrification across the range, whether it be mild hybrid or plug-in hybrid. 
that's definitely something that gives the S68 a little bit of an advantage over the S63 that it replaces. That electrification adds some nice benefits, so important to talk about that as well. All right, so let's talk about the numbers that everybody is curious about when it comes to BMW engines, horsepower and torque. So the S68, even in its currently, you know, somewhat limited uses across the model lineup, it's not in a ton of cars. We have quite a few different horsepower ratings um, across the lineup. So uh, at the very bottom is the X7M60 with 523 horsepower right above that. You have the 760i, which has 536 horsepower. Then quite a big jump to the new and upcoming X5 and X6M, 617 horsepower in those cars. The Alpina XP7 we have right here, 630 horsepower. Then the top of the S68 lineup is the BMW XM, which has 644 horsepower. That's horsepower. Torque ranges from 553 on the bottom end all the way up to 590 with the XM. So. Again, you might notice some of those power figures are familiar. 523 is the same as the X7 M50, the M550 cars like that that use the N63. 617 in the X5 X6M comp is the same as the current M5 competition, X5M, X6M competition cars like that. So BMW is historically very conservative with their power estimates. Those numbers are well underrated. You know, I, I just said I don't like to say things that aren't officially from BMW, so we give you the quoted horsepower numbers that BMW says. However, everybody knows that those numbers are pretty well underrated. BMW always quotes a horsepower number that's a little bit, or sometimes significantly uh, lower than what the engine actually makes. So we know with all the revisions that went into the S68, it's very likely that it's outperforming those numbers that the S63 was doing. So. Those are the official power figures. Speculate as you will down in the comment section and uh, you know, do some reading on forums, stuff like that. Go um, check out some other discussions about what the power numbers might actually be, but according to BMW, those are your numbers. All right, so that's gonna do it for our video on the S68. Really quickly, just to sum things up, this is a fantastic powertrain. The S63 has already proven to be pretty robust and capable, both in stock and aftermarket forms. Uh, the S68 only improves on what was already a winning formula. It sort of combines some old school BMW stuff like the high rev nature of our old V8s like the S65. This doesn't rev nearly that high, but 7200 is the red line on the S68. Not too bad, uh, higher than a lot of modern twin turbo V8s. It has that really good low end torquiness uh, that BMWs have become known for um, in more recent years. So. Lots of great things to love about the S68, and hopefully we were able to convey that um, and give you guys a little introduction into what the S68 is about. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys checking out the videos and would love if you decided to browse the channel and consider subscribing as well. So uh, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at BMW of Morristown. And like I said, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you think we deserved it. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.